Okay, welcome everybody to a class on common mistakes with prepositions, another one. Um, but I hope you can see that these are really typical mistakes. And I would be surprised if you don't make any of these mistakes. I would actually be very surprised just because I've had a lot of experience of teaching English. And in my experience, everybody makes very similar mistakes. So number one, I was on his birthday party. This is the wrong preposition, obviously. This is a class on prepositions. So what do we do with the verb to be when you are at a place? You use at, yeah? I was at work. I was at home. I was at a birthday party. I was, okay, maybe in. I was in hospital. I would say in hospital. I wouldn't say at the hospital, certainly not. It would need to be without the article because we mean uncountable hospital the idea of hospital, the place where you get treatment. So I would say he was in hospital. Yeah, and I think that we say at school, at work, at university, but we usually say in hospital, in the UK anyway. Um, there's nothing wrong with at the hospital. And I would say that if I were a visitor, certainly. I was at the hospital visiting my brother. He has a broken leg. He's in hospital at the moment. Yeah, and so it does depend on the situation. But yeah, bear that in mind that I would normally say in hospital. I really would, uh, even though it's at work, at home, at school, at the office, at the station, at the airport. And so at somebody's birthday party, at Pete's birthday party. And please remember that you invite somebody to the birthday party. So I was at his birthday party because he invited me to his birthday party. We had that in the previous class. And um, please remember that you arrive at a place. So I arrived at the station. I arrived. You can even say I arrived at the party. Actually, I arrived at the party. I arrived at the station. I arrived at the church. But arrive in Moscow, arrive in London, arrive in Paris, arrive in plus city, arrive at plus place. OK, that's the way it works. OK, number two, I will try to pay attention on my mistakes. Pay attention to this one, guys, because I promise that 90 percent of students say it like that. And I suppose in a lot of other languages, you do use an on. <laughs> I suppose that that's why you're translating it as on, but it's not correct. Yeah. You know, I've heard loads of Europeans make this mistake. I've heard Russians make this mistake. I've heard, I'm pretty sure I've heard Brazilians make this mistake. I'm not sure. <laughs> you know, <laughs> sometimes my memory isn't fantastic, but I would try to pay attention to my mistakes. Pay attention to the fact that it's always pay attention to. Yeah, pay attention to somebody, pay attention to something. It's always a two. OK, so number three, Andrew is older than me or than I am. Yeah, someone's probably going to ask about that. And yeah, I do agree that that's more parallel. Yeah, for the comparison, that one's better if you're thinking about parallel structure. Andrew is older than I am. Andrew is older than me. On four, two, no, <laughs> all of them wrong, by one year. Or Andrew is one year older than me. Andrew is one year older than I am. You can do it that way round. Or Andrew is older than me by one year. Yeah, um, or, you know, you often use this by at the end of the comparison. I don't think it sounds as good as Andrew is one year older than me.